to another edition of HBTV News. I'm Dakota Jones. And I'm Sophie Uloy. It is awesome that we can now play in any zone during recess now. Let's find our field reporter, Amira, who was with Miss Joyce and Miss Bueller to review the expectations. How does recess look different now? So right now, outside at recess, students are able to go into different zones, which means that they're able to play with kids that are not in their homerooms. We're really excited to have our kids be able to talk to each other um, in different homerooms, and that's official outside at, rec at recess. Ms. Beeler, could you tell us a little bit about our, the expectations outside at recess? Of course. So, like Ms. Joyce says, you can choose any station you'd like to play at. And can you move to different stations throughout recess? Yes, but do a good job and clean up after yourself as well. Just a friendly reminder, we never have tag here at High Point School because we don't, we don't touch each other. So there's not any, any different type of tag or whatever you call it at, at recess time because we need to keep our hands to ourselves. Some third graders say reminded us they have to make sure that you are always including everybody. Don't leave kids out. And very important, when the adults blow the whistle, make sure you stop what you're doing and then it's time to line up in your same line that you've been doing all year long. We are very excited to have you guys be able to play with other kids and we're expecting to have lots of lots of fun. And we still are following our, our all of our high point expectations that Ms. Spieler just went through. And we're still going to be kind to each other. It's just now that we're using nice words with all of our classmates and students in other classrooms. So we're looking forward to everyone getting along outside so we can keep this going. This Thursday, we'll be celebrating Special Veterans Day Assembly. Since we can't gather all together in the gym, the assembly will be live streamed so you can watch it right from the comfort of your classroom. Look forward to learning about Veterans Day and hearing the choir perform, participating in a sing-along, and doing a special craft activity for our own local veterans. Next week is our Scholastic Book Fair, which is very exciting because we haven't had one in a long time. Let's go to Miss Gilbert for more information. Our Scholastic Book Fair will be set up in the library next week, starting on Monday. You'll come to shop at the book fair during your regular library time. So if you come to the library on Monday, Monday is the day you will have to have your money and be prepared to shop. You can pay for books with cash, a check made out to High Point School, or you can talk to your grown-ups about them using a credit card to add money to your digital e-wallet. Then you don't have to worry about bringing anything to school. We will also be open the following Monday on the 22nd for parent-teacher conferences if your parents would like to shop as well. Attention all fans of the Babysitter's Club graphic novels. The Orland Park Library is hosting a Babysitter's Club book club where you can talk about the books and characters and make a craft. You can attend either November 26th or December 23rd, but you must call the library ahead of time to register. Tell your grown-ups to do this soon. And next, Dakota is with Ms. Grassman, who is excited to share pictures and stories about her recent trip to the Fire Museum of Great Chicago. I think you are going to love this. Ms. Grassman, I heard you went to a fire museum. Tell me about it. I can't wait to tell all my High Point friends about the fire museum I went to. It is called the Fire Museum of Greater Chicago. It's in the city of Chicago, and it had a ton of cool artifacts which um, you'll be able to see some pictures while I'm talking. Um, I was able to see some old uniforms that, that people wore back in the day. Uh, I saw some old fire hoses. I saw a really cool melted piece of debris from the um, Great Chicago Fire in 1971. Um, back a long time ago in the um, late 1700s and early 1800s, they used leather fire buckets to put out fires instead of fire hoses. So I got to see some of those. I saw a really cool um, old fire truck that is back in working condition and they actually use it in the um, Southside Irish Parade at St. Patrick's Day. So my neighbor is Mr. Andy O'Donnell, awesome tour guide if you ever want to go to the museum downtown. It's a really cool museum. They have open houses once a month um, on Saturdays if you ever want to visit it. It's in Chicago. The Student Council's Candy Wrapper Collection was a huge success. 
Every single classroom filled up their collection container, and we ended up collecting over 10 pounds of candy wrappers to recycle. This week during library, you will all get your special four book checkout prize. Congratulations. And finally, we'd like to share the October Students of the Month. These students were nominated by a teacher for, for showing the character trait of the perseverance. Addison, Layla, Nathan, Vanessa, Elena, Yusuf, Karina, Samantha, Amir, William, Daniel, Kelsey, Luke, Ryan, Camilla, Brianna, Embry, Caden, Maeve, Ethan, Angelo, Benji, Camden, Brittany, Olivia, Abood, Logan, Anissa, Isabella, Lucas, Jacob, David, Ryan, Ricardo, Liliana, Brandon, Renee, Natalia, Raphael, Lujane, Banna, Catherine, Zach, Kenna, Eric, Alina, Layla, Mateo, Jenna, Alyssa, Brielle, Mason, Sam, and Tegan. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Sophie Eloy, Dakota Jones, Simon Swerf, and Amir Murrah. Have a wonderful day. This newscast brought to you by the High Point Media Team.